Perfect, perfect crunch on it. I crisped up so nice. That's pretty amazing, dude. That's a good taco. That is a good taco. Hey everyone, it's Ryan with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues, and I am here with Rustin Janae, owner of Quality Pool Construction. Rustin has been gracious enough to allow us to use his backyard, he has a beautiful home, to cook up some delicious carnitas today. Doing carnitas, one of my favorites. Rustin loves carnitas, he's got a great recipe, and I'm gonna play with it a little bit, see if I can put my own spin on it, and see if it's something that he's gonna approve of. So, um, let's see how it turns out. Awesome, excited to have you guys here, looking forward to it. Thanks, man. All right, so we're doing smoked carnitas today. Rustin loves carnitas. There's a lot of pressure on me. He's got a recipe that doesn't involve smoking them, um, but I had to throw a barbecue spin on it. So we're gonna smoke them today on the 20 Eagles pellet grill. We're smoke for about six hours. We're gonna throw them in a Dutch oven, do a nice little braise, and then we're gonna fire up our Evo griddle and crisp them up and make delicious tacos. I'm excited to do this. I think Rustin's gonna love them. Let's get going. All right, so we're cooking on one of my favorite grills. We got the Twin Eagles pellet grill. We got it loaded up with the maple hickory cherry competition blend pellets. Wonderful pellet for pork. We're gonna set our temperature to 250 degrees. We're gonna hit go. All right, so we have a bone-in pork shoulder today or pork butt, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, it's really basically a nice, simple seasoning that we're using today. We're using salt, pepper, cumin, oregano, and a little bit of garlic. It's a great seasoning for carnitas here. So the first thing we're gonna do just put a little bit of oil as a binder here for our seasoning. We we'll want to season all sides. We're going to season it pretty liberally here. I mean, it's a big piece of meat. We want all that uh, flavor to get incorporated throughout the whole meat. All right, so the grill's heated up to 250 degrees. Pork butt seasoned perfectly. Now we're going to throw it on the middle rack here on the Twin Eagles pellet grill. And then what we're going to do, this is actually an important part for what we're trying to do today. We're going to put our pan underneath to catch any of the fat that drips from this because it's going to be awesome for our braising solution. We want this to really kind of break down in its own fat once it picks up the smoke here. Like I said, it's going to take about six hours to really pick up a good amount of smoke. Then we'll transfer it into our Dutch oven. And that's where some real magic is going to start happening. So we'll check back on this in about six hours. I love carnitas. Hey. This car needed sure are gonna be a home run. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah, America. They're good. I made it. Missed a few shots. Jumped on the tramp, hit some balls. It's time to get back to cooking. All right, so it's been six hours. I'm tired from swimming and jumping on this awesome trampoline that Rustin has. It's beautiful, we'll have to show you later. Um, this is smelling absolutely delicious. Let's check in on it and see what kind of color we're getting, how everything's going. Woo, that is looking awesome. All right, I think it's time to get our Dutch oven and put our braising solution together and get this thing back on. All right, so we have our pork butt here and we're gonna get ready to put it in the Dutch oven and uh, braise it. But what we wanna do first is remove the meat from the bone and then we we'll cube it up so we can have it just really take on a lot of the flavor from our, from our braise. So you already see it already kind of started to pull from the bone from smoking. So we're just gonna run our knife down, kind of open that up. You can see how that just cuts away so easily. It's already super tender. Look at that, look how easy that was. All right, so now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna cube this guy up. All the goodness from our braise really impart all that flavor. The aroma off of this already is just outstanding, guys. It's gonna be so good. The other thing I'm gonna do is take this fat cap with us that's gonna be just awesome flavor. It's gonna produce a lot of great juice and fat to help braise this pork and break this down. All right, so we have our cast iron Dutch oven here. Now it's time to load this up. We got our pork cubed up nicely here. Like I said, guys, the aroma on this is absolutely incredible. We got some really good flavor here. I don't wanna 
and get as much of that juice as I can in here. All right. And then the other thing we're gonna do is use all of our fat and delicious juice from when it was smoking and dump all that delicious flavor in there. That's gonna be great. All right, let's start putting our braising solution together. So first thing I'm gonna add to this is white onion. I got a half of a white onion and half of a yellow onion. We have six cloves of garlic, a bay leaf, about three quarters cup of orange juice. And then we'll, we got chicken stock here. I'm gonna fill this up to where the solution, the liquid solution covers about half of the way up in this Dutch oven here. Gosh, the aromas on that already are pretty darn good. All right, so that looks good, guys. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set up the Twin Eagles pellet grill a little bit differently. We're gonna remove the heat deflector from the fire pot, get that direct flame coming up, and really get this going and, and have this break down. We're gonna cover it for about an hour or so, and then we're gonna take that lid off and let that reduce down to create just this thick, gorgeous uh, caramelized sauce. Um, pretty excited about this, let's do it. All right, so we've had our Twin Eagles pellet grill set at 250 degrees for our smoke, but now what we want to do is expose that fire pot there and crank this baby up to 425 degrees and really let that reduce down. All right, so you can hear this thing cranked up. Let's throw our Dutch oven on. We're gonna put that just to the right of center. We don't want that sitting right over that flame there. And we're gonna check back on this in an hour. All right, so it's been about an hour here while we've had our pork braising. It's smelling unbelievable. Let's take a look. Now it's starting to kind of break apart and flare off. So we are really getting this to start breaking down now at this point. So I'm gonna take this lid off and let that just kind of evaporate and, uh, and reduce down and kind of create our sauce. All right, so we've had this thing braising and reducing down now for about an hour and a half. And check that out, guys. Look at that amazing color we're getting on this. You can see that that liquid has essentially reduced down. Another couple minutes, I'll take these off. We'll get the, uh, the griddle lit, we'll crisp them up. All right, so that pork is ready to go, but we have to get the fixings ready for these delicious carnitas tacos. So what I got today, I'm gonna chop up some red onion, chop up a jalapeno, garnish it with some fresh cilantro, throw some salsa over it. It's gonna be pretty good, guys. All right, guys, so we've waited a while to create these amazing carnitas. Now we're at the final step. We've smoked the shoulder. We've cut it up, cubed it up, braised it in our braising solution in the pellet grill, and now it's the final step, crisping them up on the Evo grill. We've got our Evo nice and hot here, so I'm gonna take these out. The aroma is unbelievable. So tender, look at all that. Breaks right off. Finishing up, we're gonna warm up our tortillas on the outer edge here. We'll start forming our tacos. All right, look at how caramelized those have gotten. They crisped up so well. These are good and hot here, so we're gonna start forming our street tacos now. So these carnitas are done. I don't know, man, I've never cooked them before. They look good, they look good. They look pretty good, they smell good, uh, but this is the ultimate test here. We gotta taste them, Let's see how we do. Let's dive into Let's it. Let's do it, man. Grab that one on the end there. That's good. Super good flavor. That smokiness on the meat. Good smoke taste. I like it. Perfect, perfect front time. I crisped up so nice. 
just full of a flavor. Like you said, you get that smoke flavor that comes through. That's pretty amazing, dude. That's a good taco. That is a good taco. All right, well, we're finishing an awesome day today. We had a lot of fun putting together this amazing meal. Big thanks to Rust and Janae with Quality Pool Construction for allowing us to invade his backyard and, and use all of his awesome equipment. We love cooking all this stuff. These smoked carnita tacos are some of the best carnitas I've ever had in my life. I've never made carnitas until today. Rustin threw the challenge out there, said, hey, you need to make me carnitas. I have a recipe. And I said, hey, I got you, man. We smoked it on the Twin Eagles pellet grill. We braised it in our bra braising solution. We crisped them up on the Evo. And we formed one of the best tacos I think I've ever had. So big thanks to Rustin again. And if you like this video, guys, hit that like button. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more barbecue tips and tricks. This is Ryan with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues, where indoor comfort meets outdoor entertainment.